the government and good people of Delta State on May 2018 rolled out the drums to celebrate the third year anniversary of Senator Dr. Ifani Arthur Okoa's administration. The uniqueness of the dance steps and the very peculiar high profile body movements on the dance floor aptly captured the joy in the minds of Deltans on account of the undeniable evidence of real progress. For most Deltans, it was a celebration beyond the importance attached to May 29 in Nigeria's democratic calendar. The joy that pervades the atmosphere at the event center, Asaba, venue of the celebration, was triggered largely by the people's inner joy, fueled largely by the very visible fulfillment of Governor Fanyo Koa's promise of prosperity to all Deltans across the length and breadth of the state. We thank God for where we are. We promised our people that we'll create jobs. God knows that we are creating a lot of it. And in this month of June, another set of 1,450 youths will also be engaged for the fourth course that we are undertaking since this administration began. The dance floor was positively charged as all the guest artists took notice of the people's happy state of mind and performed to suit the scenario of the moment. They sang and testified to the goodness of God and the people danced with a sense of magnanimity to glorify the heavens. The people's joy was triggered by what they clearly identified as Governor Kora's prudent management of lean resources to get maximum result in all sectors of the economy, even at the heart of the recession that recently ravaged the Nigerian economy. The present government is trying their best. If you watch the kind of drainages they are doing in Asaba now. The governor has a very stable and steady, moving, smart progress in Delta State. And that we all appreciate. We thank God for keeping the state alive, beginning from Ibori to now Okawa. Been uh, progress and development, everything. And so, when the government and the good people of Delta State rolled out the drums to celebrate the third year anniversary of Senator Ifan Okawa's administration, it was with a great sense of fulfillment and thankfulness that they invested their time and energies in a government that has responded positively to their yearnings and expectations as a people and thus worthy of celebration. Everybody's in love with this administration, I can say that for a fact. I left my house this morning in spite of the rain and, and I know everybody defied the rain to be here. Everybody loves this government. The electric atmosphere epitomizes the achievements that he has recorded under this very tight economic uh, situation in Delta State. We are celebrating the goodness of God for Delta State. When we started, resources were lean. But despite the lean resources, we have projects in every part of Delta State today. Arguably, the poster policy of the Okoa led administration is the job and wealth creation program that gave birth to skills training and entrepreneurship program STEP, youths agriculture entrepreneurship program YAGEP, and more. These programs have empowered many and seen thousands transit from the unemployment market to become proud business owners and entrepreneurs. I want to give thanks to God Almighty for giving us a governor like uh, Senator Dr. Ifan Okowa that has the interest of capacity building, infrastructural development of Delta State at heart. There's nothing like building skills 
and helping people to have means of livelihood. It reduces crime to the barest minimum. So it's been wonderful. I have found out that self-employment is very good. It enhances you in your life, in your family. It helps you to grow fast. So far so good, it's been uh, interesting. I expected less, but I'm having a lot more. After a rigorous selection process, successful applicants are trained and taught the rudiments of doing business like bookkeeping by seasoned entrepreneurs and motivational speakers, after which starter packs are handed to them. In fact, recently, Senator Fanyo Koa inducted the 2017-2018 Step Yageb trainees, during which he asked the inductees to rev up their businesses as the horizon looks promising. We have a lot of energy in our youth and when we are able to harness it to put it to positive thinking, there is no limit because the sky will not even be their limit. Empowering we the youth, mostly the physically challenged. Despite our disability, we still have ability to do everything right. With this, we can boast and beat our chest that tomorrow we will not suffer, we will not go begging for bread. Three years down the line, thousands of young Deltans have become employers of labor, and that, they say, is worth celebrating. The Chief Job Creation Officer, Professor Eric Abel, while giving a background of the journey so far, noted that the effort has been worth the investment. The purpose of the 2018 program cycle is the third consecutive round of the job creation scheme since the inception of your administration. This third program cycle, whose training and startup parts are funded from the World Bank European Union assisted C4 project. I don't have sufficient words to express how the program is because it's a life-changing program. Welcome to Delta. My Delta, my Delta. Ah. Welcome to Delta. I am my Delta, my Delta. Come live in Delta. Come invest in Delta. Come explore the potentials of our state. You better run, run, come. Come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okoa is they do it better. Run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okoa is they do. I see your job and wealth creation in Delta. Make the youth set them higher. Okoa. I see good roads everywhere in Delta. Make the people say them cola. While the pockets of these newfound entrepreneurs now constantly play host to crispy Nigeria's Naira notes, the roads through which they access their business premises now wear new looks. The Okoa-led administration has committed huge resources to build new roads and rehabilitate older ones, thus improving interconnectivity and bridging the gap between the urban in rural areas. The road is just going everywhere and that's what we need. At least if all the local government can be connected to state capital, it's better. So now that's what we are saying in terms of road. It's, it's the road master. The people have never had it this good. Go to the hinterlands, go to the creeks, go to the villages. You see roads everywhere and you know that he's been popularly termed the road master. The very visible efforts to revive the Asaba International Airport has also gladdened the people's mind. We thank God for our airport, which has opened again to business. Even when the contracts to turn the entire airport around will be due for completion in June, the runway has been finished and the wrong way I can confirm as of today I'm aware is the best wrong way in the country. I can tell you authoritatively that this will be one of the finest airports in Nigeria. 
That is exactly why the governor is determined to do the concession so that those who understand business can actually run it as a business concern. One other key element of the administration is the stormwater drainage in Asaba. The multi-billion Naira project has also triggered an uncommon joy among the people. This kind of project I see right here will help Asaba in a very wonderful way. So uh, with this project, I don't think we'll suffer flood. This gigantic project is closely followed by the ongoing construction of the six-story state secretariat, which is designed to bring all government offices under one roof. It's going to be a finance saving venture. Beside that, it's going to ensure that uh, efficiency is going to be introduced. Be engaged here in this project. No one will be involved in crime again. Because we are nobody before now, uh -huh, but because he has come up with this project, we are becoming somebody. And this project has enabled me personally to put food on the table for my family. Progressively, in the education sector, given the unfortunate fact that there is frightening unemployment in Nigeria, traceable to a cake curriculum, making graduates, in most cases, unemployable, the Okoa-led administration from inception convened an education summit to reverse the ugly trend. One outcome of that summit was to focus on technical education that will imbue young people with skills to take charge of their destiny and reduce the unemployment saga. Six technical schools in the states were revamped and re-equipped to give teeth to the policy. We fabricate trucks and protectors. We are the ones that produce it, like doors and cage and gates. All these uh, we manufactured gates in our school. I want to use this opportunity to thank Governor Ifan Yokowa for the opportunity given to us all as technical college to be great citizens. The state has partnered with the state's Universal Basic Education Board, SUBEB, to develop infrastructure in primary and secondary schools. There is also a teacher's provisional development center to boost the quality of teachers. Governor Dr. Ifan Okowa, who is actually education friendly, I must commend this effort. As you can see from what he has done, we actually started this school in September 2017. You can see what he has done here. The government's reform in the agriculture sector has seen a rise of over 100,000 farmers participate in oil palm production. Also, the distribution of improved disease-free cassava stems and the participation in rice cultivation have received a boost. For the first time in the history of Delta State, the farmers are getting prominence. And when the farmers get prominence, there will be security. So Koa, being smart and intelligent, now wow. understands that with agriculture, he can govern the state peacefully and, and uh, cost-effectively. While it is undeniable that Nigeria, being a developing country, is still grappling with lots of challenges in her healthcare delivery system. In Delta State, the Okoa-led administration understands that strategic and purposeful good healthcare system is at the heart of any development agenda. Hence the wisdom in giving the health sector priority attention it deserves. Apart from ensuring that its people have access to affordable healthcare services within available resources, Governor Kowa swung into action with total renovation, equipping, furnishing and upgrading of state-owned hospitals. In fact, a 250-bedroom hostel was built for nurses of the State School of Nursing, Abo, while full accreditation was gotten for the school from the Nursing and Midwifery Council in 2017. His Excellency believed that every Delta should be well healthy enough to be able to produce wealth for himself. The Contributory Health Insurance Scheme is also in place to further boost health care delivery. The mandate of the scheme is to ensure 
access to quality health care for all residents of Delta State, irrespective of their socioeconomic status in the society. So that summarizes the entire gamut of what the Commission does. Over the past three years, as part of efforts to facilitate ease of doing business, the administration has reformed land administration. Through an initiative tagged Fast Track 90, the Okoa led administration introduced a policy that enables one to get land titles within 90 days. The initiative also allows persons with CFO to migrate to the new digital platform and discourage land grabbers. The policy has gone a long way in deepening investors' confidence in the state. Fast Track 90 is an innovative policy of this administration to enhance ease of doing business in Delta states. The same zeal with which the governor revived other sectors in the past three years was evident in the efforts targeted at reversing the ugly trend of urban decay, spread of slums and deterioration of basic infrastructure. The administration of Senator Okoa established the Ministry of Urban Renewal with the mandate to oversee and actualize the upgrade of urban centers to meet global minimum acceptable standards. We are rehabilitating a lot of our roads. So the first thing we did was to identify the side roads that could ease off traffic from this arterial road and begin to deal with them. As part of government plan to curb youth restiveness and maximize youth potentials, sports have been identified as a credible vehicle. The level of unsolicited advocacy, business opportunities and goodwill a country or state attracts and enjoys by doing well in sports is unquantifiable. Governor Koa has no plans to miss out on any of these. Hence, he took steps to ensure that Deltans are not left behind. To this extent, the government is completing the Stephen Keshi Stadium in Asaba, not just to groom talents, but to host major international sports meets. You know, our smart governor believes in quality. You can see he takes his time personally to go around the projects in the states. And if you can see what we're doing, from what you have seen, quality is 100%. Developing sports needs to give the opportunity to the young people to discover uh, the elites of that sport, but also to have the opportunity to work in events. That's why I decided with um, Solomon Hopwa to bring the flagship of our event this year here. Now he takes the kick and then I can tell you. Furthermore, the Mori Bond Principals Cup, a fertile ground for the discovery of football talents, have been rebranded and repackaged. In fact, two editions have now been held. We should commend him for supporting Zenith Bank for sponsoring this event. This is where we all came out from. You have to have grassroots football. You have to have college football, high school football. And with the facilities I've seen here, I think it's a, it's a nice one that will make these boys remember today. And that's what this tournament is all about. Grassroots sports is where we have to start from. That's where we can pick these boys young. You know? This was what was happening in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Especially the thick periods of Nigerian football. The once forgotten state sports festival has been revamped and held. The Headmasters Cup a football competition for primary schools is also back. I came here to win our match and I came here to see the governor. I want to be a footballer in future. In realization that no meaningful development can take place in an atmosphere of chaos, Governor Koa's all-inclusive style of governance has engendered peaceful coexistence among many of the ethnic groups in the state. We have not had this better. He has done so well for Delta State and uh, we are here to celebrate him, to see how we can also encourage him to strengthen his effort. It would also be recalled that as part of government strategy to give the oil-bearing communities a better deal, the governor sent a bill to the Delta State House of Assembly for amendment of the Desopadek bill and the commission was established 
to address the plights of oil-bearing communities in the state. The Superdeck is always attended to by virtue of the five ethnic nationalities. The roads are well spread. There are places where I've also made um, reclamation, sand filling, as well as the proper construction. A greater concentration or attitude is made towards fortification of uh, swamp areas before uh, asphalt lane and the rest. The equipment of the universe. In the past three years, the traditional institution, which is closest to the people at the grassroots, has collaborated with Governor Ifanyokoa to promote peaceful coexistence in the communities within the state. Our executive governor, distinguished senator, Arthur Ifanyokoa, has been wonderful. And the traditional rulers in Delta State as a whole will have to complement his efforts to make sure Delta State is peaceful. Before now, people always uh, ascribe uterusiveness to Ubi. Yeah, they give it all sorts of names. But we give thanks to God that we have a monarch who is complementing the peace and security effort of Okoa that has made Ubi a different place now. Behind every successful man, there is a good woman, as they say. It is therefore not surprising that Her Excellency, the First Lady, Dame Edith Okoa, has been supporting her husband under the aegis of the O5 initiative. She has used this platform to bring soccer to prisoners, the poor and the sick. O5 is a divine mandate from God, taken from the scriptures. In that scripture, the Lord gave a command. We should feed the hungry, clothe the naked, visit the sick, visit the prisoners, and give home to the homeless. Many people that would have been blind today, their sight has been restored, and it has given hope to a lot. It has always been advocated that the cap should be worn by the man whom it fits. Not long ago, the sterling performance of the governor in these past three years endeared him to many, including publishers of daily independent newspapers who conferred on him the Man of the Year Award 2017. This is without prejudice to many other awards also won. Governor Okoa, I present to you the Man of the Year Award for 2017. Congratulations. A goldfish, they say, has no hiding place. Little wonder, an arm of the United Nations singled out Governor Fanyo Koa for an award of the prestigious laurel of the Nelson Mandela Long Walk to Freedom. We honor you today for your signing points and your spectacular achievement, which has so far served in Nigeria as a shining example to whosoever aspires to leadership position. The Anyama Nation, as well as the Urobo Nation, at different times have endorsed the governor for a second term in office for a job well done. Very notable personalities across the country attended the events, including ex-governors James Ibori and Emmanuel Udwanga. Madam, I'm telling you that Ethiopia West local government area, where I come from, minus three or four votes. We <laughs> <laughs> vote for you. Hey, man. No shaking, no. Congratulations. Congratulations. Amen. Congratulations. Amen. As far as we are concerned in the United States, Okowa should be preparing for the next wearing in. We are proud of your song. We are proud of his achievements. All over Nigeria and international level, they recognize that the last three years has been so rewarding for the people of Delta State as a whole. As the people and government are still basking in the euphoria of a successful three years of the Okoa-led administration, they can only look to the future 
with greater optimism while consolidating on the gains of the past three years. <laughs>